Okay, so now we have our fridge. Now this particular fridge is a tropical rated three-way fridge, so it is designed to uh, cope a little bit better in the hotter climates compared to uh, some of your non-tropical rated three-way fridges. And the tropical rating is more or less a fan at the back of this that cycles the hot air out in that hot weather. So now, as I was talking about earlier before with the display unit, the actual van is on, so now our fridge is functioning. To light up the actual display itself, we just need to turn this button on. And now we can see our display and our fridge is live. This has an automatic setting, which is default setting. Now this will automatically decide, okay, yes, we're on 240 volt. So at the moment we're on 240 volt. If I was to trip that 240 volt switch or to take it out of the plug, it will revert back to gas. All right, now there is a manual setting here that you can use by pressing the mode. You can choose what setting you want, either gas for free camping, 240 volt when you're plugged into the mains, or the battery is actually through your car so that when you're driving, the car will recognize that the fridge is on and it'll actually keep the fridge cold for you. At the moment, it's not letting me choose the car setting because there is no car connected. It will only bring up this setting when the car is turned on. All right, otherwise, it's designed not to draw the battery down so that we don't have issues there. We've also got a setting here with our temperature. Now, the three-way fridges, the trick with the three-way fridges is that in, you know, today it's about 20 degrees outside, reasonably cool. We don't need this on higher than the middle setting. It's only, let's just say, above 30 degrees, above 35 degrees that we start to move this up. Otherwise, you will end up with some freezing in the actual uh, fridge component of the van. So most of the time, depending on what area you're in, us Victorians, most of the time we'd have it on number three. Up in Queensland, you'd probably have it set to one of the higher settings for the majority. All right, we do have a little regulator here at the back here that will tell us, uh, light up red and tell us if we're overheating. Now, albeit the automatic setting is the way you want to use it, if we hold the mode and the set button, it will take us back to the manual setting, in which case we can choose whatever we want and there is no shut off. So here it will actually recognize, uh, even though I haven't got a car plugged in, it'll say, okay, you wanna use the car battery? Fine, we'll use the car battery. At the moment I've got gas, I've got 240 volt, so nothing's flashing, but you will notice that as soon as I go to the DC, this will start flashing at me, saying that the fridge is not working because there's no DC charging. So anytime this fridge flashes at you, good idea to check what setting you're using. But I'm going to put this back to the man, the automatic. Now it's back on automatic setting. We're on 240 volt. Dean, if you were to turn that 240 volt switch off for me, please. You can show the guys now that it will go back automatically to gas. So realistically, keep it on automatic setting for the majority of the time. So once again, slightly different style fridge. This is another Dometic three-way uh, fridge here. Uh, a little bit more upgraded being that this is in the Olds Classic. Uh, it's a 230 litre fridge, so it's quite large as well. Here we've got our button at the middle here, which will actually allow us to choose the setting that we want. So we've got a huge amount of settings here that we can go through. We do want this set to auto where we can, but we can manually choose it if we really want to. Let's just say we've chosen manual, no gas in the gas bottles. It comes up red and flashes at us when it's not working. So once again, very, very easy to use. Set it to the auto setting for the majority of the time, unless for some specific reason you want to manually do it. And then it'll automatically detect whether we're on power.